looking for online here. I'm not sure if I can. Okay, so we are basically going to start with our soups. But to start with the soups, I wanted to introduce some of the basic um, cooking techniques, I mean cutting techniques. So we have a couple tools here. We have, um, these are basically chef knives. One of them, some, this is probably more of a French knife size and this is a chef knife size. And you can see they're kind of a wedge. They're shaped like a wedge and they have the handle there's all these kind of fancy names. They're made out of carbon, they're made out of stainless steel. And it's really important to keep, to take care of them, make sure they're put away dry and you sharpen them occasionally, which I will show you in a little bit. This is a bread knife. And if you can see the serrated edges, serrated, serrated edges, little zero, zero. So basically it's so you can kind of saw when you cook, um, when you're cutting something. This is a paring knife. And we're going to have a little worksheet that goes with it, a paring knife. And this is used for things like paring, which means put peeling, another name for peeling, taking the skin, little decorative things when you're doing like little um, garnishing type slices. There's more. This is one of my kind of new favorite. I have one this going to cut our onion. Now, you have minced, is very tiny, um, diced. In, or is like next um, chopped is the next biggest one. And um, so, so think of mince as being like little baby bear and uh, dice like mama bear chopped um, is more like papa bear and cubed and stuff is like a bigger, bigger. So if I was gonna take my knife, I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna hold it in my hand. I'm not gonna put my finger on it. I'm gonna hold it in my hand, nice and solid. I'm actually gonna more like pinch it. Just think of it that way, that's a better way to pinch it so that you have good motion. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is cut off the outside of the, of the um, onion and be prepared to cry. Just kidding, prepared to cry. Okay, so I'm gonna pull off the skin. Aroma, aromic because they add a lot of flavor. A couple ways, I'm going to I'm going to dice this onion. Now, if I wanted to cut it like this, that would be a slice. A slice means even pieces. So I'd slice it. If I wanted to cube it, I would cut it into fours. Like one, two, and that would be fours. That would be cubed. Okay, I'm going to, um, I'm going to dice it. So there's a couple different ways you could do. Now always, notice how I have my, my I'm holding it like pinched. I keep my fingers away from the blade. And I try to always put the solid side down. I don't wanna cut it like, if you can see how that wobbles, I wanna put like a, a solid side down. Hold my fingers like a claw. And then I'm going to chop. Now with onions, um, then I'm gonna, I kind of put my hand here and I just do some chopping motion. This is dicing, diced onions. If I cut it really, really small, it would be minced onion. So basically what I'm going to do right now is do something called put in place, mincing piece. I'm gonna take all these ingredients that I need to have and I am going to um, prepare them, have them ready. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, um, make my soup see how and then I just chop 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 hold it in place okay the next one I'm about is our carrots we're gonna put two carrots in here maybe three because these are kind of small yeah now the first thing we're gonna do with the carrots is obviously wash them under here so they get the water can drain off and I'm gonna take something called a vegetable peeler, some people call it a potato peeler, okay? And I'm going to peel my carrots. So basically, I'm gonna hold this, can you see it? I'm gonna hold it so this part of the vegetable peeler is where it's sharp, right there where you're looking at, next to the carrot. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna simply pull it down so that a little bit of the skin comes off. You're basically not even peeling it, you're more scraping it 
and you just want to get that outside um, skin off. So that's what peeling is. Okay, so you're not cutting it in the sense of changing. Well, you are cutting it because you're changing the shape. Never mind. Swipe set. And this this vegetable peeler will be sharp enough um, to um, pull the skin off. Okay. So the vegetable peeler we're going to use. And that's what we use for the carrots. I'm going to take. There's a couple different ways I can cut my carrots. First, I'm gonna cut off the, the, the little, and put them over here in my, to be thrown away. Let's julienne the carrots, because we're making uh, chicken noodles, so we're gonna julienne the carrots. So I'm gonna cut the carrots in half, and then I'm going to cut that half, see how I hold my hand like this? That half into the half. So now I can put the solid side down so it doesn't, um, roll on me and I'm gonna cut this into like three or four strips. That would be julienne, thin strips, like a french fry, julienne carrots. And you want them to be kind of thin. Here's another piece. I'm gonna hold my hand like this so I can slice it in half. Once I get it kind of positioned, then I cut this half into as many little small strips as I can. And that is julienne. And um, so, and that's more of a garnish anyways. A garnish is something, a garnish is something you put at the last to make it look pretty. Okay, so we have our onion and we have our uh, carrot. Now we're gonna put in a couple stalks of celery. Celery again is a very nice aromatic. And this too, celery's dirty. It usually comes really dirty. So I'm gonna go over here and wash it. I usually cut off these really big pieces at the bottom. Now, if I was gonna make a vegetable broth or something like that, where I was going to brew my vegetables, I might save that for that. Um, I usually cut off the uh, leaves too. A lot of people don't. The leaves are great for flavoring and those kind of things, but if they don't, it might not have the right look for my soup. So I would put that in my other little pot over there and I could brew all that for a vegetable soup or vegetable broth or something. Okay, now pinch your knife. Let me get my mincing cake, okay, you can see. And you're basically gonna hold your knife so that it's down. Your other hand's gonna be like a little. Now some people, don't go so fast that you don't actually cut through. See how I'm going? This is gonna stay here. And as you practice, there's two, a couple ways. I move my knife, some people actually use this to move their, the, the celery. And whenever I do that, I, I have a harder time. Well, it's working. I'm doing it slow because I'm not, you know, a professional chef. Down the celery, or you're gonna move the celery with your other hand. Your knife, this direction, and you're gonna press down on it. And it breaks open the garlic. And now you can peel this clove. This is one clove of garlic. Garlic is an aroma. It adds a lot of flavor. It is, um, if you add it at the beginning of a recipe, it, it adds a note at the depth. If you add it at the, at the end of the recipe, it's more in your mouth and up front. So to mince this, you want to cut it really, 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 really tiny. So I'm cutting it and then I'm gonna turn as small as you can get it. You want it really tiny. The only word of advice I have with garlic is you never want to burn it because it, if you burn it, it kind of gets a, a bitter flavor to your dish. So now we're going to set aside our mincing plate piece. Can you see it? There's our carrots, our onion, our garlic, and our celery. So we're going to prepare our chicken now. I have an Instapot, which is a, a brand name of a pressure cooker. I put one cup of water in there and I... Kind of break it up. Our prepared chicken and our um, I'm gonna pressure cook it high for 20 minutes. Okay, guys, I put the chicken. I'm using this uh, Instant Pot only so that I can have it on the table. You could do this in a stock pot or soup pot on your stove. I'm turning on saute so it'll get a little bit warm. That bell should be the chicken. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of oil. I recommend olive oil. I just don't happen to have it right now. 
there. Good tablespoon. I am going to get my favorite tool, which would be my oil. I mean, my my wooden spoon. Kind of spread the oil around. Let that get nice and hot. And now I am going to start adding my uh, vegetables that I had already minced in piece, minced in place, um, put in place, I have ready. So I'm going to add my cell, uh, carrots, uh, onions, and celery. I don't think I'm gonna add all these, so I didn't measure this out, so make sure you look at the recipe um, because I don't want too many too much carrot, uh, celery in there. My julienne carrots. And last but not least, my garlic. Okay, and I'm gonna set this aside to be washed. Now this is gonna cook on saute until everything is yeah, a little bit softened and um, make sure it's on. Yeah. And the only reason I'm using the Instapot or the pressure cooker is simply because it, um, I can put it on the counter and you can see this. this so now my, our, cook, our chicken is done. As you can see right here, up in the screen, the cookie, the chicken's done. And basically I'm just going, it's nice and hot. And I'm just going to cut it, or I could actually take two knives and I mean two forks and shred it. I kind of like to cut it in chunks. I know it, it it'll probably uh, divide up, but this way I can kind of look at it and make sure everything is good. So in the oven, if you roast it, it would have a little different flavor um, than in the pressure cooker. But any of those methods, I'm just going to take this little piece right here away. Any of those benefits would be good. So, so far, let's recap. We, we've got our mince and peas place. We did our onions, our celery, and our carrots. We sauteed them in the pot. Any pot will do. We, um, we're cutting up our chicken because it's chicken noodle soup. So this is one of the main ingredients. Add this to my pot. Which one of you guys could come help me wash all these dishes here? Okay, just using just a generic broth. I'm gonna put the whole thing in there. Okay, so you can see. And a cup of noodles. I, my daughter loves it with noodles and noodles and noodles, but don't overdo the noodles, okay? So I'm gonna turn this back on so it gets hot. You can cook the noodles separately or you can cook them right in the pot. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, guys. So I, started, I actually added two cups of uh, noodles. I, don't know, I, I always overdo it with the noodles, I think. Now, I'm also going to add um, a chicken bouillon. I, I, don't, I mean, I don't know why I do this. It's probably a silly thing. But this is just basically chicken bouillon. There it is. Chicken bouillon. It's dehydrated chicken broth. So basically, it's like to a chicken broth, but powdered milk would be the milk. They take the water out, and it's called a bouillon. And it's basically chicken. And I just add it because it kind of adds a little richness. It's not as healthy, I guess, as just plain, you know, broth, but it does add a little richness to it. So I'm gonna add that. We're gonna let this cook for a little while because we gotta let the noodles cook. You can see the steam from the cooking, right? So we're almost done. Look at, look at that. Does that look good? Can you see it? So now I'm gonna take my lettuce, I mean my, excuse me, my um, spinach. 
and I'm just going to put about like a handful of it right into the chicken noodle soup. And you want to do this at the last minute so that it, it wilts it. Can you see? But you don't want to put too much. Make sure you have it washed and you put it right in the soup there. And that is your, oops, sorry guys. That is your delicious chicken noodle soup. I hope you make it at home and I hope you enjoy it. See you later.